My job and what I do here is continual selection. The cattle that make it stay. The ones that don't end up in a freezer or they end up on a plate in a very nice restaurant. The calves have to come on their own. The cows take care of the calves. The lambs come on their own. The sheep, have, the ewes have to take care of the lambs. Same with the goats. I trim hooves right behind the ears. I don't have any patience for an animal that needs that kind of attention. And if I sell an animal to somebody else that needs that kind of attention, then I'm selling them a problem. So let's say 99% of these cows are all registered, right? Even though they're registered, that doesn't mean the calves necessarily are gonna be good enough in my selection criteria to be registered. So I look at things like How's the calf growing? What's the phenotype? Do they roach over their back? Do they have a sway back? Are their feet put on correctly? All those things that you asked about the bull, I look at the calf. The ones that aren't doing what I want them to do, they get banded. The bulls, bull calves get banded by the time they're three months old. Then at weaning, I'm looking at what's left. Then at yearling, I'm looking at what's left. And I'll band them anywhere up to that yearling mark. That, I will go with maternal efficiency every day of the week. For And, and that that's why I choose bulls that are out of teenage cows. Because those, the, those genetics are there and from people who select in the way that I do. Meaning rigorously. Right? That cow has to make it through that continual selection process. She's got to have that calf every year on time.